Hi, I'm Isabel Monterosa, and I'm Program Director for the English Language Foundation's program for Berks Technical Institute. And welcome to Building Bridges to Career Success. Today, I am here with my two fellow colleagues, Amy Rothermel and Beth Zellinger. Amy, we're going to start with you. If you could tell us a little bit of who you are and um, what your experience is and what you do here at BTI. Yes, thank you. My name's Amy Rothermel, and at BTI, I am the program director for the paralegal program. I am an attorney in the community, so I practice law part-time, and I am at BTI most of the time, again, instructing the paralegal department and helping them with their studies and getting externships and jobs in the community. Great, thank you. And Beth, if you could tell us a little bit about you and your program. Hi, I am a massage therapist. I run the massage therapy department at BTI. I have been in the field for over 20 years and currently work in a salon and have clients in the side. I work very well with employers in the area, so it helps us uh, stay connected to the community and be able to uh, place our students in settings that seem to fit in really well with uh, their needs as the student. Great. So I'm going to go back to you, Amy, and just express um, a little bit to the community here. You say you're an attorney, and um, so going from an attorney to teaching, how can you <laughs> give us a little bit about that? <laughs> sure. I've been an attorney for a little over 20 years, and I've practiced in almost every area of the law, So I, and that was just by chance. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I brought that experience into being able to teach it to students. And I always knew that one day I would want to teach because I enjoyed certain subjects and topics and areas of the law so much that I really am passionate about teaching what I've learned and making it maybe easier for students to learn than what it is in law school when you first learn it. So um, I believe that my experience uh, I like to let the paralegals know what attorneys expect when they come into the workplace because I am one of those attorneys and uh, so I believe that I can assist them and, and by staying in the practice and being in the practice I still have access to courts, to judges, to other attorneys so I can have guest speakers or I can take them to court or I can let them know what subject matters I still practice in and give them real life practical experience. Excellent, thank you so much. And Beth, I know you have been doing massage therapy for a long time and you have been at BTA, BTI for a long time. Could you please explain to us um, that transition and what you feel that you, know, you bring to our community and to our students that will really help them be successful when they go out into the field? Sure, so I have been at BTI for almost 15 years in January yes. and have been in the field for over 20 years, like I stated earlier. And I just think um, being able to show the students the experience that you're going to get whenever you get out into the field mm -hmm. is the best thing to be able to show them because we're not going to say this might happen. We're going to come in, this is what our instructors do. We come in after a client we had the night before and we say, oh my gosh, this is exactly what happened in our practice last night. This is what you're going to see whenever you're out in the field. And we've all had experiences in chiropractor's offices, salons, doctor's offices, gyms, self-employment. And so we can give them the real life experiences that they're going to see and need and realistic expectations that they're going to get whenever they're out on the field. Right. And like Amy, you're also in the field and you remain in practice as well outside of it. Yeah. Here. Uh, could you um, maybe explain what um, an, a first day massage therapy student might experience because I know that many times <laughs> they're in for a great surprise. <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, contrary to what they might think, we don't just rub bodies in the <laughs> classes. Um, they actually have to learn the sciences. If they don't understand what the body's about, they're not going to be able to understand how to properly give a massage. So even on the first day, they're learning about the body. They learn anatomy, physiology, kinesiology, pathology, which is all about the diseases, all about the muscles, how they move, what they do, why they do what they do. And then they learn also the different types of body work, how they all work and where they came from and why we do what we do in those different modalities, just to give them an entry level expectation in the different types. That way, when they become licensed in the field, then they can also 
uh, continue their education in the avenue that they choose. So there is absolutely no way you can get bored in this field, which is amazing. And saying that I've been doing it for over 20 years and not being f bored in the field, I can definitely verify that you can't get bored because you're never going to do the same thing <laughs> twice. Great. Well, and I can tell you how great her students are because <laughs> as a stressed out attorney, I often need massages. And one of Beth's uh, graduate to someone who I see very regularly mm -hmm. to uh, do shoulder massages, et cetera, for stress relief, and she's awesome. Great. And so I can vouch for the work that Beth does with the students and how great they are when they graduate. We can all vouch for them. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are, that is a perk here. That's why um, the program is here, to take away the stress of my coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> and it does a great job. So Amy, um, you just mentioned that um, you remain current and all that. Can you also explain to us about the paralegal students, how that field um, is might have changed since when you first began practicing law and what BTI is doing to assist those par paralegals to really be current in the current workforce? I would say that over the last 20 years, obviously um, computers and e-filing and doing more, um, a little bit less with paper in the offices and more with computers, you're still going to have paper files and hard copies of things, but like the courts want to make things easier, so instead of going down to the courthouse to file something now, you would file it over your computer through the internet. So that's changed in the mm -hmm. last 20 years. Um, being a paralegal or the practice of law, I don't know that that's really changed uh, since I first started. I feel that I'm, I'm lucky to come in to talk with the paralegal students. Again, because I'm an attorney, I know what it's like, um, and I was obviously once a young attorney who would come in and have to learn from older attorneys like what they expect, and that's similar to what paralegals experience. They're new and they're fresh out of school just like I was at one time and they have to learn from the bottom up so you come out of school and you think you know a lot of things and you're excited and <laughs> there's still a learning curve but you realized how well your education has prepped you and I feel that BTI will uh, lead to our students success by how well we prep them for their field. Great, thank you so much. Beth, how would you um, describe uh, the transition from the student when they first come in and many of them may not have touched another body um, aside maybe their family members or partners um, how do you feel uh, your program or what magic you do that gets them from being withdrawn to getting over to now being a, a full massage therapist that feels confident touching other bodies <laughs> um, I think from day one we set a standard that they need to become a family and team oriented because if they're not comfortable with other people specifically the people in their class they're not going to be successful so even as early as day one maybe day two I have them going out around the school trying to get business cards from staff members in the school because if they can't go get a business card how are they going to get clients and so it starts early um, I always tell them you might not know why I'm doing what I'm doing but there's always a method to my madness and it has to do with uh, success in the field down the road and I think that that's a way for us to kind of get them used to it and get them prepped for it because if they can't talk to somebody and communicate and be able to get out there they're not going to be successful in the field yeah. and we do have people that are shy and don't mm -hmm. want to be out there and we know those types of settings where they're going to be handed clients and that's where we're going to put them okay. so there's there's different types of settings for different people but majority of the time they need to be able to market themselves to be okay. successful Great, and as we wrap up, that actually ties in beautifully with our concept of be being a bridge school to career and success, where you evaluate the students individually. You have certain things that you set up, but if there's still some challenges, you work around with their strengths to get them to the point where they need to be to be successful. Absolutely. And do you find the same thing with the paralegal program, where some yes. people might be more versed in, in you know the legal field or the computer component of it? Right, we try to definitely fit the student or the graduate with the type of law or the type of firm mm -hmm. that would best fit for them. Some people are better with solo practitioners or small firms. Mm -hmm. Some people are better with larger firms. Just like attorneys, some attorneys like sitting behind a desk and doing work all day. Some love being in court, some mm -hmm. hate it. So everybody kind of finds their niche and we help the student by knowing their personality through the program, right. what the best place for them will be once they graduate and we do consider any strengths or concerns that they might have and we work with them. Great. 
Well, and wrapping this up, this has been a great conversation. Uh, this is just a small example of some of the pathways that we use here at BTI to be a bridge to success. Uh, I can attest that my coworkers here um, give 120% to their students, and uh, you just do whatever possible to assist the student to reach their goals. So with that, I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you, Beth. Thank, thank you, you Amy, and we will be seeing you soon.